so we're gonna take a look at uh, essentially like a cheap European uppercut. Like we're using the bicep in weird positions to, to make strikes from. So I play a lot, whether I'm uh, grappling or striking in any way, shape or form, like I play a lot of inside bicep tie and then half collar tie on this side, right? Um, we've done, you know, I've done other videos here where we talk about like these little cheap shots and things like that. But one thing that uh, people I think underestimate or really don't look at is using the bicep. She's, she's generally speaking, she's looking for the hands, at least from a striking perspective, hands or elbows in some form. But I can get these little cheap shots and to open things up positionally by using my bicep. So most people, when they think about kind of like this bicep punch, they might even be thinking about like a, like a no-gi judo grip where I'm coming over top of the lat, where the arm arches this way and comes across. That'd be a little more like our European uppercut. If you don't know European uppercut, I feel bad for you. Obviously you never watched WCW in the 90s, but bang, European uppercut where I'm using the bicep essentially to make that shot. So most people think of it this way. One of the ways that I like to do this, especially if like she's giving me good pressure corresponding this way, instead of trying to force over here where she might have a little bit of control over my elbow, I'm gonna literally throw across right out this direction, okay? And then pop the bicep across the ear, right? Now, depending on what you wanna get done here, I can go boom, come right back. Maybe that opens up my space to then lead off to other things and I can start kicking and moving if I want. For me, I usually use this for two setups. One, just like I showed, I'll do this big pop, gets her to arch over that way. I'll come way across after that, catch the far side lat, and then oof, we can send her flying if we want to. Um, but I also love overhooks, right? So I'll go here, bang, big pop, use that to distract, and then I'll go shoot my big wizard back here. And then based off whatever you wanna do from here, I can start chopping into this, I can start heading up into other things. But again, it's just a really cheap, unexpected strike that I can fit in a tight place. She can hold on as tight as she wants. If I throw this in a straight line, right, I'll get her head to move off angle. I'll make a little bit of a contact with it. I commit my body to it, bang, as I go to do it. Now I'm using my bicep, my shoulder, my chest to make those shots in, and again, it's wonderful. So I can use this for setups. I can go bang, bang, make my chop here. I can go bang, whiz her back, start playing around things that way, or I can just use it to set up more striking. Ah, ah step myself out. So cheap, easy. It's really about just being snappy with it. Over committing the bicep over, popping into the head, and that's your fix. If you want more self-defense fighting and fitness principles to keep you fit to fight, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Go drill it. Oh!